until these days from painting figures. This isn't what I intended to get painted next, but um, I've had a bit of time off painting, a bit of time off everything really. Uh, so I just wanted to get my mojo back to a certain extent, and I just thought, just get a couple off my desk. So rather than getting into a batch, just uh, these have been sat around for ages. Now it's been a few years since any of this, I hesitate to call it a project, but any of this thing has been on. So these are a couple of uh, Astra Militarum slash Imperial Guard specialists. So there's the the artillery guy who calls down off table bombardments. And in the robe we've got uh, an astropath who are the long distance psychic. Blah blah blah. Yeah. So this dates back to um, way back when I was painting uh, the British Army for bolt action. I just thought I want to paint a squad of Imperial Guard for it, never with the view to getting an army. So because it's a while I thought I'd bring them along anyway. But I've done them in a basically, well all the guardsmen themselves, if I look and bring them in. These are to one side. All the guardsmen are sort of painted in a kind of a World War II Brit looking thing. And these aren't like example figures, this is literally everything I have. So it's a single squad of guardsmen painted in that sort of brown and green with like bits of khaki on there, sort of late war looking stuff. And then just to sort of vary it a bit, I did get in the uh, an old commissar there who I've given a slightly lighter brown <laughs> look there. It says as he knocks the sergeant down. And the final one I did early on was the uh, the naval officer guy. So having the pack of specialists, I'll get these back. That just had these two remaining. I started them ages ago. Um, so this guy I've done the same sort of armour. Just uh, I've given him the sort of the leather. Uh, Royal Artillery sort of thing, again khaki trim, I've done a lot of the, he's got a lot more elaborate uh, gear than the rest of them so I've done that in khaki as well, just try and keep the uh, thing down and then this guy is khaki-ish so I'm just trying to, they're stretching it a little to sort of call it the uh, the World War Two Brit scheme but um, there we go. So that's two figures to add to the to the twelve I had previously. Let's just get it down to the uh, down to the characters, and then just get these out of shot a little. So they are quite nice. I mean, this is never really going to turn into an army. I've not got the time or energy or money to do an Imperial Guard army. Not not particularly the desire to either. But I might may add to this bits of here and there. You know the it might be one day I've done a Bane Blade for it, that's not not ruling that out. Or at least in a Lemon Russ, you know, just in that sort of British um, D-Day sort of green colour with white stars on. That might be quite fun to do, but uh, as I say, I don't have great ambitions for this. But uh, it's just a couple, a couple off the desk. I've really enjoyed these as well, so hopefully this is just going to sort of kickstart me back into uh, doing a bit more regular finishing stuff and therefore a few more regular updates as well. So I'll go first batch for the new year. Do I call them a batch? First pair of minis for a new year. Hopefully there'll be more soon. Well thanks very much for watching. I'll hopefully I'll hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Cheers then. Bye bye. <laughs>